Hi, I'm Ron Backus, Regional Sales Manager for JMT. Also the Plate Roll Product Manager for JMT. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about the features, the benefits, and advantages of our hydraulic four roll plate roll. This particular machine happens to be our HRB4 series. The particular model is a 2013. And what this number designates is important to our customers. The first two numbers, 20, designates that the maximum length of plate that you can roll on this is two meters, or in this case, six feet, four inches. The second number, the 13, designates the maximum thickness uh, that you can roll in the machine, which in this case is 13 millimeters, or about 0.52 inches, just over a half inch. In the world of four roll plate rolling, the major advantages of the four roll is it's the easiest machine to use, it's the easiest machine to learn, and I'll show you why. We're going to go over some of the major features on the JMT machine and the benefits of those features. And one of the features, uh, the biggest features of this machine are the components that JMT requires our builders to put into these machines. And why that's important to you, the customer, is that the components that are in here are available at nearly all of your local industrial supply stores. So we're talking about things like Rexroth valves, Siemens controls. We use uh, NSK and SKF bearings, for example. So we don't have a captive market on the parts for these machines uh, as some of our competition does. To keep your machine running and to get up running quickly, um, you are able to buy these at your local industrial supply store. So that is one of the major benefits that uh, JMT brings to the table. Uh, one of the other benefits is the construction of the machine. Heavy, heavy welded steel weldments, uh, the thickness, the material, this machine weighs nearly 17,000 pounds. So it's a very heavy, stiff, rigid machine. We have angular contact bearings in all the rolls and that allows the rolls to tilt in and out for conical bending. We uh, offer hardened rolls as a standard on this machine. 90% of all plate roll builders charge uh, an aggressive price for hardened rolls. We believe it's the right thing to do uh, out of the box. So we provide hardened rolls as a standard feature on our, uh, on our machines. The four roll plate roll machine uh, has been around for nearly uh, three decades. And the way that the machine operates is your plate is loaded in from uh, the front side of the machine and it comes through the center and we touch it up against the back side, the back roll of the machine. That's a process that we call squaring the plate. Once the plate is squared against the machine, we will then bring up what we call our Z roll. And the Z roll is the only roll on the machine that moves straight up and down. So the Z roll is also referred to as the pinch roll. So we're going to come up and pinch that plate uh, just enough to make sure we have a tight grip on it. And the next process is that we back the plate out to nearly the exact center line of the top roll, just to the point where the plate does not slip out. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to eliminate as much of the flat on the part as we can. So uh, we square the plate, we clamp the Z-roll, we bring the plate back, and the next process is to raise up with what we call the Y roll. And the Y roll will, will move up as this is pinched and it will perform what we consider the pre-bend process. Uh, the pre-bend process is the process that bends the leading and the trailing edge of the, of the part. And it's very important that we make that pre-bend and the flat on the pre-bend the shortest that we possibly can in order for that part to fit up correctly in the weld process. So it's, it's actually a quite simple process 
for making round cylinders. And um, so that's, that's how the four, -wheel, four roll process begins. You'll notice on our machines that our guideway system is uh, in a semicircle here. And this is what we refer to as a planetary swing guide. So the side rolls actually swing up and down so they can make a close fit to the top roll. And I'll demonstrate that for you. So we will start with the outside roll and we will bring this up to the top roll and you can see the planetary motion. It's not moving in a straight line, it's moving in a semicircle. And as it moves, we have less than a one millimeter space between the top roll and the Y roll. So what this allows us to do is wrap the rolls tightly around the material, which will give us the tightest diameter possible on the top roll for making small cylinders. We can actually, on the JMT machine, we can roll uh, the material uh, with the ID to 1.15 times the top roll diameter of the machine. This particular machine has uh, a nine inch top roll on it. So we could actually roll a 10 and a half inch diameter, inside diameter part on this machine provided that the material is in A36, which is uh, the material that all standard plate rolls are rated from. So when we bring the roll down to that position, we actually zero out the, uh, the roll for starting another operation. So we know that the rolls are always parallel. So again, this roll goes very tight, uh, close to the top roll. And as you can see here, the way that we do uh, have our repeatability, if you can see this uh, extension rod here, this is attached to uh, the transducer. You can see the red top on the transducer. What that does is it gives constant feedback to our PLC, which is our, our logic controller, in our control, and it constantly monitors the position of where the roll is in respect to where the roll is supposed to be, and as pressure is put against the roll, it will, uh, it's a very important feature for keeping your rolls balanced. Without the, uh, the feedback of the electronic transducer, you could uh, possibly, on many of the uh, lower end machines, end up with plates that are uh, bent on an angle or that the shape of the edge of the plate would come out less than what you desire. So what I'm going to show now is uh, the position, the rolls, and again, the versatility of the four roll variable geometry roll. By bringing the rolls back down, okay, then on our control panel here, for the, for the X roll and for the Y roll, we have uh, switches that turn from parallel to conical. So we'll change that to conical. And now what happens is one end of the roll will stay stationary. The other end of the roll will tilt up and inward. And this makes it for ideal condition. As you can see, this end down here is staying stationary. This end here is moving up toward the top roll just as we did before. Now to the untrained eye, you would look at this and you would say, why, why is this not breaking this 
and how does it not uh, break down here? And the reason is we put in a set of uh, angular contact bearings that actually tilt inside of the bearing housing. So those are designed to bend with the roll so that you can see now when we put our plate through here, it's gonna roll tighter at this end and wider at this end. This is what gives us the shape of a cone. Okay. This is what we refer, refer to as the yoke of the machine. Many people will refer to it as a drop end. So what this does, it opens up. You can see we have plenty of clearance. So now we would take our finished piece and we would simply slide it off of the roll and you can see down here, we have what's referred to as our, uh, our cone shoe. And the cone shoe is used to uh, control the edge of the plate while making cones. As you remember, I just mentioned we're gonna be rolling tighter here and looser here. That uh, concave effect makes uh, an automatic funnel that wants to push the part out of the machine. So we need to have a device to stop the part from flowing outside the machine and that's what we use the cone shoe for. So your material actually rides up against this, this uh, cone shoe and as we bend the cone, it swings around the inside radius against this shoe here. And then when we're done, we simply move this back to the center locking position and it locks inside the pillow block. So that doesn't uh, even need to be removed in order to go on rolling regular cylinders. All right, as we stated earlier, the four roll series plate roll is the easiest plate roll to learn. It's the easiest plate roll to operate. Some say the safest plate roll to operate. And the reason that is, is once you put your material into the machine, you squeeze, you pinch it with your pinch roll, and you never release the material again until the part has been completed. So uh, unlike an initial pinch or a three roll, machine on a three roll machine you have to bring the material in do the pre-bend on one side then you have to take the material out you have to turn it around and put the material back in so the material handling is very cumbersome and can also in many cases be very dangerous and it requires minimally two operators or two people uh, operator and a helper and in most cases it requires an overhead crane so the effectiveness and the efficiency of a four-roll machine, uh, it, it's quite obvious. And it's, it's effective up to a certain degree of uh, thickness to where uh, when you reach the two and a half to three inch range, it then becomes more sensible to start thinking about uh, what we call a variable geometry machine. And you can check the JMT website and check out our variable geometry machine. We will have demonstration and explanation of how that machine works. Four rolls are the only type of plate roll machines that can effectively make use of NC and CNC controls because of the contrast and the constant clamping and driving of the material during all the steps of rolling. Bending difficult shapes like polycentric or elliptical work can easily be done with the JMT CNC four roll machines. 
Four roll plate rolls are more precise, productive, versatile, faster, easier to operate, and as we mentioned, safer than three roll machines. They're less dependent on operator competence. They're ideal for bending plates up to six inches thick. The last thing I'd like to talk to you about today are machine options. All too often, our customers look at a plate roll and they view it as they're all the same, they all work the same, and in most cases, you're right. But imagine if you were in competition with a shop down the road from you. You have the four roll plate roll and you have the automated infeed table. You have the hydraulic side supports on the machine. You have the external side support for holding the machine. And for making large cylinders, you have what we consider an overhead support. All of these things eliminate the need for additional operators, eliminates the need to use an overhead crane, and eliminates the need and lessens your setup time by having your plate preloaded while you're bending a plate in the machine. It's all about throughput and efficiency. We want to keep the rolls turning as often as we can. So in most cases, an additional 30% investment on the basic cost of a plate roll will outfit your roll to make you perhaps 70% more efficient. So when buying this roll, listen to your JMT sales engineer or your sales manager and don't forget to talk about the accessories and the options to make this machine more efficient.